Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. I'm here with our local building inspector, CJ. And just thought I'd ask him a couple questions while I have him here so we can put it to you guys so that you can kind of see how this goes. So CJ, I was talking to you earlier and we were talking a little bit about uh, what are some of the common mistakes that people make uh, when they're building a deck and what are they missing on and that things that you have to like do a correction notice for? Sure, be sure to get your permit. The um, uh, Make sure you get your footings inspected. Uh, for that and then make sure you get uh, your stairs uh, you do them properly uh, the rise and run on that and make sure all your attachments um, are in the way there are on the plants so as far when you say stairs um, I think a lot of people don't realize that you only have three-eighths of an inch that you can vary between any elevation on any given step is that the, is that the correct uh, yeah, that, height that's correct okay um, from like let's say if you have a two inch one here and a five inch and one up here it's not gonna happen because it can only be within three-eighths of an inch difference between the top run and the bottom run. so if you're doing a seven and a half inch rise for your stairs if your bottom steps seven inches you're out of compliance will not pass it will not pass will not pass if you have all your pickets at three and fifteen sixteenths but the last one's at four and an eighth will not pass will not pass <laughs> i don't know how many times i've said these things but these are things that are sticklers for a lot of local jurisdictions and building inspectors but it's always good to hear from the pro uh what you think and is how how have we done so far on this project oh this has been superb we've gone through this is our um, second or third time out here and we kind of did like a pre-inspection on the attachments last time i was out and the project seems to be going just fine. Yeah, so we basically have everything finished for final, all of our railings done, but I didn't realize that because the electrical has been roughed in and, and inspected, but it hasn't been final, that he can't give us a final until all these wires are all connected. So we're gonna actually have another callback yeah. for a final, and you'll be back one more time, Yeah. Uh, but at least, uh, I can finish my work and be done and I'll just leave the permit here with the client or have it posted and then you can come back and sign it off once all the electrical is buttoned up. Yep, the permit and the plans and your sign off sheet is required. So when you're driving around yeah. and you happen to see a Chuck in a truck yeah. and he's banging away on some backyard yeah. and you're going through an alleyway, do you ever stop and just ask him, hey, you guys got a permit for that deck? Oh no, I make a phone call. You do? <laughs> you yeah. make a, so to local code compliance? Oh yeah, we, we got it on speed dial and we, okay. we, we look for people like that that are out doing it. You're not like a, the police or anything no. like that, but if, you're dry, if people are in the open and they know they might be risking it if they're building without a building permit, and you happen to see that type of work going on, I guess that that's just the luck of the draw then for these people, like if, and then you just call yeah. local co code compliance and then they come out. Yeah, I call my buddies. You call your buddies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And then they send them out. Yeah, so what that does guys is a professional like me that I'm pulling a permit on just about every job I build takes time and it takes a lot of money. It can add six, seven, eight thousand dollars to the price of a deck where there's another guy that might not even be licensed. And that's another thing. If you're gonna build decks and be unlicensed and not pull permits, you're in for a real world of hurt because you can't even pull a permit if you're not licensed and bonded and insured. Yeah, and if you get caught, uh, it could be double or triple on the permit. So triple your permit fees as well, which is can get quite extensive. Yeah. So um, if you guys have any other questions, leave them below and I'll try to catch CJ again on another inspection. Let us know what you're thinking. If you have any other questions, I don't have any others right now, but, uh, or ask me. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out content. Thank you, CJ, Thank you. so much for your time. Yeah. Appreciate you. All right, yeah. over now. Yeah.